best banh mi in Sydney, episode 5. So today we've come down to an area of Sydney called Campbelltown. So it's in the greater southwest of Sydney. And for some reason, a lot of people tell me that there's not amazing food around Campbelltown, but I find that hard to believe. I reckon there's some really good like, local gems around here. Anyway, today we're at a bakery called Lee Bakery or Lee's Bakery. Um, it was recommended to me by a couple of friends of mine. Shout out to uh, John from John and Maylee, their YouTube channel. Shout out to Christine. Also shout out to Boston from TikTok. That guy sent this place viral. So I guess those three people really made me want to come out here. And when you see a lot of people talking about a place, it's got to be good, man. If you haven't watched the rest of the Best Bun Me in Sydney series, um, I'm going to link down below so you can watch it after this video and just catch up on a couple of episodes. I've got a couple of episodes left in me, so we'll see how this goes. And I'm really excited to try out this bun me today. So, Lee's Bakery, Campbelltown, let's go. Lee's Bakery in Campbelltown. I haven't even walked in yet, but it's a nice and humble little bakery spot. Looks quite small as well. Nine o'clock, it's already starting to gather a line. It's a very small and humble bakery. Hello. <laughs> I'm with Christine today. <laughs> she was one of the first people to tell me about it. This is Anna. She's one of the owners of the bakery. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming to come in today. <laughs> and this is Henry. Hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. <laughs> His name? Jackson. 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 Five months old. <laughs> so Anna spends most of her time at home. Yeah, I hope Kevin can enjoy our road today. <laughs> one beef, one pork belly, and one barbecue. Uh, one, one yeah. Beautiful long bread rolls. They don't look like your normal bread rolls. They look like French baguettes. <laughs> Henry Lone just gave me a baguette, a piece of baguette. Look at that. Mm. Oh, what's that? Good pate as well? That enough to kill you easily. Wait, can I shop? Do you want to Yeah, yeah, I'll take it off. The bread. Mmm. Bread is really good. Really nice crust. Yeah, you just Soft and fluffy on the inside. That pad thai, man. I can't believe there's no liver in it. Secret recipe is really good. Order those long baguettes and chop in the back too. The bread. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Woo! <laughs> look at that. Got your crackling pork here, ready to go. Ooh. Going hard at that crackling pork, man. Oh. Wow, this is the barbecue beef, so it gets freshly cooked in the wok every time you order it. That's nice. Wow. This is Henry, he's the owner. Thank you. It's like before nine o'clock in the morning and we're eating all this. We've got the beef on this side here. The crackling pork, which was, the crackling pork, which we're really excited about. And we have the, um, we have the grilled chicken on this side here. Dude, look at this. Wow. Radio. I'm very, very excited. Look at that. So. Not a typical banh mi. Um, normally banh mi, as you'd imagine, is you know one particular style of uh, French baguette, which went to Vietnam and then they changed it to make it their own. Um, but this looks like it's a bit more like French baguette style. Really crispy on the outside. Um, almost crackly as well. And it was very long. So it was like this long. And they sort of sliced it in three. Um, but if you have a look at the actual bread, it's quite airy as well. So, almost like a sourdough consistency. And um, when you get bread from other bakeries, from other uh, like Vietnamese bakeries, it's fluffy on the inside, it's not airy. So, I'm very excited to try to see what this 
tastes like in the context of, you know, a banh mi, like a pork roll. If we have a look on the inside here, there's a really nice amount of stuffing, um, crackling pork roll. I hope the crackling is really crispy. Uh, looks like they use a solid amount of pork belly. Nice balance of fat and meat. One thing I saw was there was a lot of sauce um, that they put on as well, which was uh, like spring onion oil, I think soy sauce, um, some sort of oyster sauce style consistency thing. It looks like, but yeah, man, I'm very excited to try this. Let's go. Mmm, that's pretty really good. That is really good. Even just the first bite, wow. The flavors are like tantalizing on the taste buds, man. There's a, um, I really like the sauces that they use and the mayo and the, like, it's just a nice balance, man. Mmm. Mmm. The pork is really cutting too. Yeah. There's three things I really, really like about this. Um, the first is the bread. I, I love like, you know, sourdough and that type of bread. So it's sort of like a French baguette sourdough hybrid, if you will. Um, but it is really nice. Nice and like crispy in that sourdough-ish way uh, on the outside. And um, it tastes really good with all the bun me fillings on the inside. The second thing I really like is the combination of sauces in, in this bread. There's a lot more sauces going on than your typical bun me from other bakeries. You've got the mayo, you've got the pate, which um, from what Anna told us back at the shop, they don't use liver in the pate. Even though they don't use liver, it's it tastes really nice. I think they use some sort of briskety, pork mincy, give it that really nice flavor into it. But it is really nice, man. And if you have a look over here, that, well, that sauce really coats the, the rest of the roll real, like really well. It's nice, it's nice. I really like it. That is a very nice roll. <laughs> Mmm, man. This is so serene. Eating in a park in the morning. It's look at that salad just coated in the sauces, man. I love seeing that. Now we're gonna try the, the beef, which Christine has eaten half of already. You know, we saw him cook it up in the wok as soon as you ordered it, so fresh to order. I'm just gonna try one piece of beef there. Mmm. Beef is nice and saucy, you know, just like a Vietnamese, a very Vietnamese style seasoning. So the soy sauce, oyster sauce, um, lemongrass. It does taste more lemongrassy. Very nice flavor though. Very similar to the one I had at um, Two Foodies, if you remember that video. Pretty much all the standard uh, bun mi fillings, pickled salads and all that. Well, the wok fried beef. And it's on a bed of lettuce. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, What's up with lettuce on bun mi? It's not traditional, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to beef and stir fried beef, like if I was to eat it in like a Vietnamese dish standpoint, for example, a stir fried beef at home, you know, for the family dinner, I love eating any sort of stir fried beef with lettuce because the lettuce soaks up the sauce and it just brings like this beautiful flavor to it. So let's have a try of this one. Mmm. That beef is like really tender and really nice. You know what this one tastes like? This one tastes like when I want to make banh mi at home and there's nothing to make and then you chuck like the beef and all the seasonings into a wok and you just chuck it all up together. So it tastes very homey this one. Like extremely homey but obviously a lot better because they have you know, access to all the fresh salads and the sauces and the pate and the mayo. But check this out man. Really nice thin tender slices of beef obviously marinated and then you have your salads and all that there's a nice amount of sauce from the marination so if you have a look at the, the lettuce there you see that it's caught up all of that this bread is fantastic it's fantastic this one is um, a grilled chicken one and it was cut in half you can see the bubbles the airy bubbles inside the bread very nice and fluffy on the inside almost like sourdough consistency I was not expecting that flavor at all. If you've ever had like Vietnamese peanut sauce before, like the one that, um, the one you get when you dip, uh, you know, the fresh spring rolls or the rice paper rolls into that peanut sauce, that's the sauce that they add into this. 
It is really good. The chicken itself doesn't even have like a chicken consistency. If you've ever had like barbecue pork at a bakery before, or nem nung, it sort of has a nem nung consistency. So, is it nem nung? Maybe she get the wrong. But it tastes like barbecue pork. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I think this is barbecue pork. <laughs> yeah, it's barbecue pork. Scratch what I said. This is not grilled chicken. I think they just um. I think we just ordered incorrectly. I think I think we just ordered the wrong thing. This barbecue pork is really good, and the sauce on top is also really good. You know, I came here thinking um, there was going to be one roll, which is the crackling pork roll that was going to be like amazing, based on everyone's recommendation. Every single roll that we've had is like really good, really really good. You could pick anything, it'll be good. Nice. I feel like it's sausage, eh? Like pork sausage, nem nung. Yeah, nem nung, but this is not chicken. <laughs> but what do you think though? I like this better than the pork crackling, to be honest. See ya? Yeah? Yep. I don't know, the flavors. It's just the marinade on the meat. And just, it's not as fatty, but it's still rich. Mm. And the bread, like we've left it out for like an hour and it's still so crunchy, so juicy. And all the flavors still there. And Let's see it. Try it for yourself. Yes, sir. Those three rolls are like a massive flavor bomb, man. Like a lot of flavor, a lot of umami. I really enjoyed actually all three meats. A lot of people have told me to come here for the crackling pork roll, but um, the, the sizzling beef or the barbecue beef and the barbecue pork, which is the nem nung. I can't believe I said it was chicken. I thought it was gonna be chicken, but then I ate it, I'm like, this tastes so good, man. And then I realized it wasn't chicken, but yeah, both of them were actually amazing as well. So I would strongly recommend. And shout out to all you guys who live around the Campbelltown region. You guys have an awesome bakery, man. Go out there and support them. If you haven't watched the other videos, I'm gonna link down below to the Best Blood Me in Sydney series. Go and check those out. And there's gonna be more episodes soon, so hopefully you guys follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. See ya.